Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Begood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going fantastic and your journey to self-betterment is going better than fantastic as well. Today I want to talk a little bit more about the topic in my previous video. And there were a lot of great comments. Thank you all. Great great sharing of thoughts and ideas. One person mentioned that the narcissist does what they do because it works. When we are talking about this circular talk and word salad. And that is the sad and simple fact. You see narcissists are constantly yet metaphorically. Trying to throw poop on the wall hoping something will stick. And every now and then depending on the conditions. The poop they throw at the wall metaphorically speaking sticks. For every 10 people they can get with their scams. There are a 2, 3, or 4 that will go along with their nonsense. Here's a popular one. Your new spouse of let's say 6 months. Out of the blue wants to go to a singles bar with their friends but states you have to stay home. Because they need so called alone time. And up until this point it was just you and them. Except for meeting their family and a few of their close friends. You felt like you were building a life together. But what was really happening is they are roping you in and getting you to trust them. So when they could do something untrustworthy. They would have a metaphoric leg to stand on. And when such a thing is brought up. Like most people they aren't comfortable nor are they keen on such outings. And this is where the word salad and circular talk begins. Such as points made like. Why do you have to have fun in a pickup joint in the middle of the night? Why can't it be a coffee shop during the daytime? Why can't we go as a couple? Why are you acting one way when we first met and now acting a different way today? And you will be told you're insecure. That it's normal. They will take a point you made and start talking about a word in that point like coffee. And they will talk about how they really could use some coffee right now. Just to deflect away from the topic at hand. They won't acknowledge any of your points. Or they might at best say. I see what you're saying. However. And then the word salad and deflection and circular talk start to go into high gear. And all of this is done to wear you down and wear you out. So you give up. And not only give up. But you stay in such a relationship with such a person. Look. I have news for you. If someone treats you like you are their one and only for six months. Which is the typical narcissist love bombing stage. Then out of nowhere randomly they want to hit up the local pickup spot for some so called innocent fun. You are being not only tested. You are being groomed right then and there to be their narcissistic supply. And there is a lot and I do mean a lot of people that fail such a test. Because the stay. As they don't want to give up a relationship over what they are seeing as something fixable. Because in most cases. Someone testing you like that isn't fixable at all. And it's a big big sign you are likely dealing with a toxic person that has an agenda. And you better believe if they can talk in circles about this topic. They know they have you right where they want you. And to make matters worse. They will purposely stay out longer than when they said they would come back home. Just so they can get into another endless debate with you while throwing more metaphoric poop against the wall. Just to see what you will put up with and to see if you will stick it out. And there are a lot of people that stay in such terrible treatment. Narcissist will talk in circles when you realize there is something wrong with them years later. And you try to confront them about their problems. Big mistake. And either you get the silent treatment. Or you get anger. Or you get a bunch of word salad circular talk. And the reason why is because it works. It keeps you from leaving them. 
hanging on that tomorrow will be the day they will finally admit there is something wrong and they will work to fix the problem. Well I have news for you. This toxic person isn't fixing anything. Not at all. Not one bit. And in this word salad and circular talk. They will put in a dash of them trying to be nice on one thing and another. And all that is. Is just another thing that is put out in front of you to get you to drop your guard and stay just a little longer and to let them get their way a little more. Until they have literally taken over your life and ruined it. This is why talking and 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 talking about narcissism is so important. Because this is something narcissists and other toxic people do day in and day out. And they do it because it simply works. It's like the narcissist's Jedi mind trick or some sort of witchcraft. They keep going and going in this circular pattern until you get tired and mentally give up and give in to what it is they want. Stop. Stop and slow things down. Be prepared at all times to take your ball and go home. And the minute you see such behavior, it's better to not argue or even engage in such topics. But to slowly back away and out of this person's life. You will be likely saving yourself a lot of time and hassle by doing so. With that said. I do hope your day is blessed. And until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.